Hello, welcome. It's the Resident Rooster. I'm back with another Yu Gi Oh video. Tonight, I'll be showcasing heroes. In Immortal Destiny, we're going to be getting some new evil hero support. And this gives hero another tool for their arsenal. Not all the evil hero cards are good though, and we only play one in the main deck to facilitate its uses. As you can see from this deck list, I'm using a list similar to my previous ones. Except it's now updated to the new Forbidden Limited list, and as well as the new promo cards and the Mega Tins. The only evil hero card that we do play in the main deck, I believe the TCG name is called Evil Hero Adjusted Gold, which is this card right here. You can use this card to search for a Dark Fusion or one card that lists Dark Fusion in its text. So the card that you're going to be aiming for to search is going to be your Dark Calling. And your Dark Calling is able to fusion summon for an Evil Hero monster. The first one is going to be a new card, which is Evil Hero Malicious Bane. So what Evil Hero Bane does, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Also during the main phase, you can activate this effect to where you can destroy monsters your opponent controls with less or equal to this card's attack. But if you do use this effect, only hero monsters can attack for the rest of the turn. But since all your cards in this deck are just heroes, that shouldn't be a big restriction. And the other card we have is the Evil Hero Dark Gaia. This is a pretty old card, but now with the release of Nibiru, you have a good rock type monster to main in the main deck. And this also can just clean out games too since when you fusion summon it with Nibiru and your evil hero adjusted gold, it's at 5100 attack. And whenever it attacks, you can make all monsters your opponent controls at defense mode and switch it to attack. So if your opponent just sets all their monsters since they were going first, you could just switch all of them to attack and just attack everything for game. I feel with this new evil hero support, it gives another boost for the OTK consistency. And it's also just another one card combo just in case you're ever stuck in a sticky situation. So this is going to be about decklist right now, feel free to make any changes, and let's get around to the replays.
That's it for the Yu-Gi-Oh! video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a great day!